I recently did a what's in my pack video showing you what I take out with me when out winter hiking and this raised a number of comments and questions about a particular piece of kit that I take with me. That has inspired this video today. I'm going to show you in a bit more detail about the emergency shelters I take out when hiking. I currently have four different types of shelters, two of which are tents. I've got a lightweight Big Agnes and a more heavy duty one by Burr House. Now I'll use those tents when I'm planning on an overnight trip in the outdoors. I also have two emergency shelters by a company called Life Systems, which are these ones here. Now emergency shelters are very different to tents in the sense that they are designed to be carried out with you for emergency situations, but not always. Now these are a temporary solution to being outdoors when you're stranded in an emergency situation whilst you're waiting for help or for the emergency services to come. They are an essential piece of safety equipment for the outdoors. Now I first heard about emergency shelters when I did a navigation course and they had them on the course itself and they're regularly used by mountain rescue, group outdoors activities and anything else where you're in a situation where you're heading out into the hills. I am going to go through each of those for you and the first one I'm going to go through is the Survival Shelter 2. These are so simple and quick to deploy. There is no fancy equipment required or any tent stakes. Let me show you. It creates a lovely warm internal microclimate that protects you from the outdoor elements whilst waiting for help. This model is created out of a tough PU coated fabric, 5,000 millimeters hydrostatic head and fully taped seams, making it waterproof. There are reflective top strips, which combined with a bright orange color allows you to be seen by rescue services. There is a circular window on one side here, so you can look out for emergency services or just gaze out of when taking breaks and needing some shelter. There is an air vent built in, which is also the stuff sack, and this prevents you from feeling claustrophobic, and it also allows a bit of air in, and that is on the opposite side of the window here. On the inside, there are also seating panels to prevent you having to sit on the wet ground or any snow, and that's at both sides of the shelter. So you've got one down here, and one at the other end, which I shall turn the camera around and show you. Here is a draw cord closure at the base to prevent the wind from getting in, which is very simple to cinch around you when you're on the inside. I've been using a tripod at one end just while I film this video, but this does fit two people very comfortably, and that is including big packs as well. Another benefit of having two people in this shelter is it gets warm very quickly, which is perfect when it's cold and breezy outside. The weight of this survival shelter too is 345 grams. I will also include all the dimensions for you, packed and unpacked, in the description box below, as well as somewhere on the screen for you. And the price, if you're wondering, is currently $29.99, and that's as of November 2020. Now, let's have a look at the Ultralight Survival Shelter 2. Now, this one is very similar to the other one, but it is designed to be lightweight, just weighing 215 grams. Now, even though it's lighter, it is still designed for all weathers and simple and easy to set up and still fits two people. This one is made out of 20D siliconized nylon fabric with 5,000 millimeter hydrostatic head. It has an air vent which doubles up as the stuff sack 
and it also has the waterproof seating panels both sides so i'm sitting on one down here and i have currently got my bag at the other end down there so you can see that one there just there this also has reflector panels for increased visibility as I said before, the weight of this is 215 grams. I will put all the dimensions again in the description box below as well as on the screen for you. The price is currently $64.99 and that's as of November 2020. As you can see when they're side by side, they're not too dissimilar. The reason I like the lightweight one though, and that's the one that I got first, and that's because I like having something small and compact to just throw in my day pack and head out into the hills when I'm on my own, especially when the weather isn't planned on being too treacherous. Now, I haven't just used this for emergencies. I use this quite regularly, actually, when the conditions change. So when it starts raining and you can't find somewhere suitable to have a lunch stop, or if you're just wanting to orienteer and have a look at a map without getting rained on, it's ideal. The reason I would use this one is usually when I'm heading out with somebody else and when the conditions are planned on being a lot more treacherous. It has got the window, which that one hasn't got. It's got the drawstring cord and it's a lot more durable. But I do like this because it is lightweight. It's 130 grams lighter and it's pouring down with rain all of a sudden. So I'm gonna actually get in this, wait for the rain to pass and carry on filming. <laughs> I hope this video has been helpful for anybody looking for information on emergency shelters, in particular the life systems ones. Now I am not sponsored or paid to do this video, these are just two pieces of equipment that I truly believe in. They are an essential piece of kit for your safety when heading out into the hills. The mountains can change very quickly and conditions can go from good to very bad and it is important to stay as safe as possible when out hiking. Not just for yourself but you may come across other people who have come into some kind of situation that also needs something like this so you can help them out too. I will of course put all the descriptions that I've talked about today in the description box below as well as a link for the products so you know where to find them. But if you have got any further questions or need any more information or just want to comment then do so below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope it's been helpful and I will look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye!